Get ready. Go ahead and set. Mics are dead. This free acrylic tutorial is being brought to you by the Ginger Cook Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting and contributions from caring viewers like you. Now, on with the show. And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning master acrylic artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. Where am I picking up that noise from? I give up. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, darn it. Are we live? Well, kind of. How, how, how are we kind of live? Well, your picture's not there. There it is. Now we're kind of live, but my picture <laughs> wasn't there, and now it's there? All we had was your voice, and oh. it was quite a lovely voice, I must oh, say. Oh, you're just smitten, but thank you. Smitten. <laughs> smitten. I'm smitten. Hi, you guys. This is Ginger Cook, and John Little is on the uh, other voice on the... Uh, on this, uh, on what? this whatever, whatever wherever you're hearing it, <laughs> whatever you're listening to this on. And I'm holding a brush in my hand because this is a public service announcement before I ever get started. What? Do you know what this means? Um, this means if you're standing up and holding your brush over your head, your arm's going to get tired. Stop that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'm right? telling you, right there, show's over, so people. I'm telling you. I that's told a you. tip of the day, right there. Yeah, right there. I mean, that's just, Man, just either lower the, the e people, either lower the easel. Or raise the chair, but none of this up here. Up high, oh, not, no hand above the ear with the brush. Hmm? Yes. Okay. And to answer your question, normally I do paint on an easel, but for the ease of doing our shows and doing the small ones, we're painting on a flat table. That's not to say this couldn't easily be painted on an easel, but however, however. just keep that in mind. No hands over ears. So, weren't you good? Wasn't that good to know? I, I mean, think just that, right there. I need to write that down. I know. Just, just, I do. just write it down, man. Yeah, I do too. So, no hand above the ear. There you go. Uh, so. Christine loves those curlers that you got that you suggested. Oh, does she? Oh, yeah. I As think, you can see, they they're working tonight. Yeah. See, it, you know, did the hair right? And you know what I love about these? And you guys are going, what curlers? And is these people ever going to get on with the painting show? No. Harold, they're never painting. <laughs> these stupid people. They just talk. You That's know? all we do. Hey. Oh, I got one of those. I got one. Listen up. <laughs> <laughs> this came from our birthday this, bash. This is our birthday bash. Aren't these cute? They light up too, but mine's not lit. You have to press the button. Oh, there's a button. But you oh. have so much light under you. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if can you can see? see it. Ooh, I just put a little light on my face here. See, mm, just kind of little. See the little glow. Light. See the All glow. All right, see the glow. Well, anyway, if you're wondering what she's talking about with the hair curlers, you, John and I, as you guys know, travel a lot and. I have a lot of hair, and I'm, I like to do a full set of curlers, but I can't handle the weight. And th we have an Amazon store now, and these curlers are uh, part of the recommendation that we have. People said, what do you use on your hair? And they're sponge, and they have a little tiny container about this yay, about yay big, about right? About yay? Yeah, about yay big, right? Yeah. And it, it had a little water and little curlers, little sponge curlers sit on top and steam in about two or three seconds, and you put them in your hair. And you're, it's just a fast way to look nice when you're traveling. It is indeed. I mean, some people use hot irons, and that can be a little, you know, rollers and hot, hot, hot irons, but that can be a little hard on your hair. So tonight we're going to do something kind of funny. We're doing this sort of Mad Hatter's Tea Party kind of rose. You probably saw the picture on the thumbnail. And the reason I thought about, you know, mostly you have conventional flowers, but today we're going to do a 9 by 12 and I don't know, did Judy ever get this up on? Uh, it's probably did. on Pinterest. I don't know. Uh, here's another I thing. Yeah, I did. have a Pinterest board, and everybody says, I don't know where to find all these images. If you go to Ginger Cook Live, but it must be typed in all those spaces, all one word, then go to boards, then go to 2019 YouTube, and then you'll see the links and the references. The references are the ones you can, can print out. 
And uh, that, I mean, that's, you can't get it any simpler than that. But we were fooling around on the ship with people who were saying, yeah, but I can't find it on my phone. And we realized if you're putting spaces in there, you won't, you'll get something, but you won't get that. There cannot be any spaces in the word. Ginger Cook Live, all together, no all, space. All, and then, then it's easy enough to, to go to our board. You'll see the 2000, you know, the latest 12 new tutorials on our Art Academy. We got some great information on our store. Also, links to our store are in the Pinterest. And also, the link to our store is also on our webpage, gingercooklive.gallery. And if you scroll all the way down, because we've been redoing our webpage, and scroll all the way down, you'll see the store. So, that being said, we're going to keep going. We're going to have a giveaway tonight for those of you who hang in there and watch. Oh, drat. And, um, I, forget forget to, I forgot to make the form. Did you not make this form, John? Did I, you I forget? I'm seeing flashing over there. Can you turn your flashing light off, please? What flashing? Oh, this one. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. See that? Isn't that good? Like, like a magic fairy one. Oh, I'm going to do this. I now pronounce you guys magic artists. Ooh. <laughs> okay, knock it off. Are you ever going to start painting? No. So <laughs> what I've done, and you're going, I already have it drawn on here. Here's our 9 by 12 canvas. Here's the kind of printout that you can get. kind of goes like saw. I'll come saw like that. That's French for like this. Come saw. Isn't that cute? I is, know that really, is that true? Come saw, yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. So, you know, my parents spent this is thousands of dollars show. on my education. <laughs> Got a year of boarding school in Switzerland, yeah. right? And that's what you come up with. Only to be told later I spoke French like a peasant. But, you know, listen, I think if I can order a sandwich in any language, I don't care, peasant or not, I'll take it. So, anyhow, that's what you're going to do. And you get this. And then, how did you get the lines so dark? Well, I cheated. <laughs> I went ahead and went over the chalk with the Pasca pen because I thought it'd be nice to see them. What do you guys think, right? I like so, that. So, uh, the Pasca pen. Now, the thing about Pasca pens is that what makes them different than all other pens is when they're dry, they really are waterproof, but you must dry them. If they smear, you didn't dry them. And you can get those again. Uh, the link is in our Amazon store. And I love them, the white ones for signing your name. They do. If appropriate. If appropriate. Uh, mostly, I use the very, very fine point, but this was a little wider one. But you can kind of see what we're doing. See, like this? Now, Ooh. so what we've got going here, in case you were wondering, and I'll just put this here, is uh, it's winter time. And some of you are saying, well, it is in the States. It may Australia's summer. I've got to say, but, it's not winter everywhere. Okay, do we have our, uh, we do not have our mister going. Uh-oh. Do Don't see, tip it. I'm not tipping it. Here's our mister. It. And they what this see, does, oh, yeah, this is not, that. this is different than a humidifier. These you can use all year round. They, they make some that kind of, you know, you can aim the nozzle. This is what they call, um, a, what is this, like an oil diffuser or something? Yes. You know, for, for and, but you just put water in it instead of all that other stuff. And then what happens is oh, it just more. has enough um, humidity. <laughs> Don't touch it. John doesn't want me to touch it. Has How just... do you get paint on it already? It's, does it matter? Yes. Why? It destroys the prettiness. No, it doesn't. Paint only adds to prettiness. Everybody knows that. That's why we paint. You're going to be done in a couple of hours? Yeah. He's going to put it on. So there's some little mist coming out of it, okay. and that will help keep your... Do you see Can the you little see mist coming out? <laughs> Here, do you see the mist? Tom, do you see the mist? <laughs> Oh my. You've got to, you've got to take my word for it. This mist coming out. It kind of goes on your. It does help. Now Jennifer Chase in, um, in Colorado, she has some kind of tall, skinnier ones, and she has them on each side of her easel and kind of mist the paint as she's painting. Nine but percent very, humidity. Yeah, it really increases the humidity, and that's what you, what you want. Okay. So if you're having trouble, the other thing you can do is take a little mister bottle. And mist your paint. And you might consider misting the can here. Here's a thought. I've never shared this. Mist your palette first. Just slightly. There you go. Ooh. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put out some fun colors. Just reds and yellows and, and blues and so forth. And uh, we're going to start with some cad red medium. And then we want some sort of napal crimson. That's a darker red. You know, the red on your color wheel. I'm going to put some of that out, and then we're going to grab some something else, yeah, probably some white. This will be fun. This is a fun painting to paint. And um, what was the fun story I was going to tell, John? I had a great story I was going to tell. Oh, yeah, when we were putting up with the, putting up, putting on, what were we doing? Um, it's coming back to me. Boy, these birthdays go fi fast, and then you whew, forget everything. So. John was uh, noticing he had a little feedback on the microphone. If you hear any now, please let us know.
Are you guys hearing any feedback on the mic? Is the mic sounding pretty good? Here's some ultramarine blue. Uh, assuming I could get it out. Mm. Something some, tiny uh, here. Oh. John hates that because then, there, here we go. There, a little ultramarine blue. It's negative 30 degrees centigrade here, definitely winter time. Where is here? Beaker, beaker, squeaker, squeaker. Yeah. Beaker, squeaker, squeaker, over. So, but is there feedback? That's the big question. Then a little phthalo blue. Nope, sounds good, John. All Thank right, you, so Gail. good. Well, we work on this stuff. You know, we don't just, uh, we hear the comments. We, we really do work on it. You Here's a little cat. cad yellow light, but if you just have cad yellow medium, that's okay, too. Wipe off your thumb. Oh, this thumb here. Yeah. Here, time for tub of towels. We'll do this little <laughs> shot early. Before Here's my tub of start. towels. Somebody said, what's the difference between these and paper towels? Seriously, these are coated in cleaning fluid that's gentle to your hands and really um, takes yeah, your acrylic clean. paint off. It's just the, the best ever. Uh, our, our tub of towels, we love those. They do not pay us to say that. We just tell you because when we find great well, stuff... Well, you know, they, they indirectly pay us. They give us tub of towels. I guess they did give us some tub of towels. Yes. But they do that. But I'm not giving any money or anything. But we appreciate the fact because, you know, we uh, have some samples we'll send out. And, you know, in our store, in our Amazon store, a lot of times what you'll see is just junk I like. Like, for instance, see my little ring? That is not a wedding ring or anything. That is a next. That is a ring that tells me how many hours of sleep I get and how much um, I've exercised and my heart rate. John has one, too. And we've been experimenting with those around. They're called motive rings. And they work. I thought, really, I thought I was getting easily eight hours of sleep a night, only discovered it was like three or four. I'm going, how is that possible? And, and the little device, because uh, you can, the apps on your phone, suggested that perhaps I might want to consider going to bed before two in the morning. That would be the first start. I, you know, math and me, right? I'm going, yeah, okay, that, that makes <laughs> sense. So go to bed a little earlier, stay in bed a little longer, one of those things. But I'm finally getting seven. It's taken me about three weeks to fix that. Well, at least you knew it. I mean, before you kept getting tired, you weren't sure. Yeah, and then I'd go sleeping. take a nap after dinner. I was just tired. I thought I was getting older. No, I just wasn't sleeping. So, all right. So we've got our colors out for the most part. Oh, yeah, magenta. That was another one I wanted, too. Where did that little sucker go? Here it is. Here's some magenta. Here's some red. But there. So, so what, these are pretty much the colors. What's, and the, uh, what's, what's up next to the, the, to the top two or what? Uh, this is ultramarine blue, thalo blue. Okay. Magenta, red, cad red, medium, yellow. In white. That, that was cad yellow light, but yellow would work. And then if you want to, you could, eat, you could also use Payne's gray, but I think we could probably do this with ultramarine blue just as effectively. I don't think we really need the Payne's gray. I did some of that with Payne's gray. Let's try it and see if we can not. Okay, so the first thing we've got is you notice that I've kind of outlined everything. And then I'm, I've got a couple of brushes I'm going to be using. This is a... Um, a, a 5 8 inch angle brush, but you could use a bright brush as well. And what I want to do is uh, kind of do my background. And I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue. Can I ask a question? Sure. As you're getting started. Mm. I hope this is not a silly question, but can a color be both warm and cool, like different shades of one color? Also, is a black and white considered warm, cool, or neither? Neither. If it's true black and white, it's neither. Neither. But the blacks can be either cool or warm if you warm or cool them. Because yeah. paint's gray is really well, a cool yeah, color. Paint, yeah, so, but here's the thing. On this painting right here, you can see this is a warm painting. We've got yellows and warm reds and pinks and a cool blue. That's okay. the accent. Think about fire. Red colors being fire, blue blues being cool. You know, pretty basic stuff. Okay, so now we've got some blue and a little bit of red. And uh, we're going to come up here like that. And look how dark that made that color. Aren't you kind of impressed? It made that really dark. And I'm just going to come along here. And I have quite a bit of, of paint. And the brush was not damp or anything. I have quite a bit of paint on that. If you, if you get too much water on your brush, the, um, you get a different effect than what I'm going for. How's that? So I'm making these little circles. I'm kind of staying away from the flower, right? And the nice thing about it is I have my reference photo. Now, I fooled around with this quite a bit. Now, here's some just plain red. And now, I didn't rinse my brush, but I'm just going to get some red. And as I come closer to my flower, I'm going to kind of smudge that around here like that. Some more red. Here, how about some magenta? That's pretty. And a little bit of white. That's pretty. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Now, as I come closer to here, see how I'm kind of using the brush like a on its edge and then flatten it out. 
See? And then look how that blends in. And that, that is kind of neat, isn't it? So here's the trick. A little bit of angle brush. This is why you want angle brushes, right? And I'm going to come here, like, just close to the edge here, like that. Okay? Kind of flatten out the brush. I'm saying you want this a little lighter. And the, this, is, there's, this is all going to get layered. And here's some of the blue. And I'm just going to come close to that and just sort of smudge that out. A little bit of red and ultramarine blue. Maybe make this a little darker. And here's some cad red. So I'll just put some of that in there. Okay, very gently. And let that just sit on top. So I don't want to get too carried away the first round. It just, just basically what we're saying is I want something on here that sort of co covers all this. Now that red you're referring to is cad red, right? No, so naphthal red is the oh, main red I'm using. The main red, okay, so it is it's nap naphthal red, okay? And then I'm going to wipe that off and put a little more red on the brush. Sometimes I just wipe my brush rather than... Um, uh, just do the whole, um, rinse it in water. If I'm staying in the red tones and the pink tones, and here's a little bit of white and peach, I'm going to come up here, the white and magenta, rather, I'm going to come up here like this. Well, this is kind of dry now. Keep the brush. Look how flat this brush is and kind of wiggle it up here like that. So you can get some different, you just don't want to overwork it. If you're going to do something else, then, um, because uh, I like this light pink around here, but you may have come up with an effect that you like too. Uh, just let that dry and then do the next layer. For instance, if you, if you go on, here's a little cad red. If you keep going on here, you can float it if you don't push very hard. But I, I'd have to float it so just barely touch because the more you go over it, it would just uh, bury itself into the background because it's wet. Now this brush is getting rinsed and sitting in water. I'm going to start with the next one. I'm going to dampen it. And we're going to just start... Um, hey, we need to say hello to Gloria from Down Under. Hi, the Gloria. From Australia, the city of C-A-I-R-N-S. Mm. Incidentally, <laughs> hi, Gloria. Incidentally, if you so guys you can't are... can't say any more than I can. Go if on. you guys are liking this type of painting, this more abstract type of painting, I don't know if you caught our fish that we did la before oh, we did. left. Oh, I caught our fish. That is so funny. It is, and I tell you what, on our Facebook club, which is a free club to belong to and really fun, when we have spent about 50 of these have come back. People, everybody does them slightly differently, or they're adorable. And the title of this tutorial is Color, 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 Make Your Colors Pop. I probably should have put the fish somewhere in the title because people have trouble finding it. But this was done about, uh, they originally aired about uh, three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. And if you haven't done this one, this is really fun to do, okay? So that being said, I just like to mention these things as we go, so you're not overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on a second. What was your background color? Red, just sort of a cad red. The, for the background. Okay. Yeah. And then we had another question. Uh, that was the base color. One more. One more. Is the red under? Is the red right under the blue magenta? It's the red right under the blue. The, there's the blue, and then this is magenta, and then there's red, and there's cad red. That was the question. Okay. Okay. Wow, you're so, good. So now, I, I know what they said. It's sort of back, you know. Good. All right, a little bit of pink here, a little bit of white. And, um, Isaac and can, would like to know how, how hard of a painting is this? I don't know. Just to how hard do you want to make it? I have it's, no idea. It's an you know, why, why tie kinda... your hands behind your back and decide, well, she said some number, so now it's going to be too hard for me, right? What if it wasn't? What if this was the one painting you could do in your sleep? So, and what I would be doing you a good service, wouldn't I, if I said this is a hard painting or a real mm. simple painting? And then, what if I said this is the easiest painting we've ever done and you have trouble doing it and you're going to think you're failed somehow, right? <laughs> What's wrong with me? She said it was the easiest thing they'd ever done, right? So let's just say that um, I put it up. We don't put anything harder than a two cookie, a lesson up on YouTube. And I got a little white here. This is our next uh, petal here. I'm just kind of, you don't want to leave the, you know, well, I guess you can leave some of that yellow showing. Come back with a little uh, red here underneath it on here. And then you just want to, when you get a line like this, just wipe your brush, use the back of it, and just kind of smudge out your line. You, you, this is really can be a fun thing to do. Here's a little cad red here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to layer all this stuff up. Here's a little light pink. I'm just going to come along here holding my brush at this angle and go right over that line here. See that? I'm going to just come out here like that. You hold, you have the angle brush, you have the paint just on one side, right? See that? And then you just kind of, you can kind of outline a little bit. 
Let's just show you how you do that, right? Here we go. Just to 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 kind of wiggle it a little bit like that. And let's see, we're going to do one right here like that. We're just sort of wiggle it on the inside. We're not trying to outline the whole thing with one color, but we are doing kind of playing with lights and darks. Yes and yes. Yes, yes and, and yes. yes. So let's see. I know I got, got a little bit of yellow in, in Cad Red, and I might put that over here. Say I want this a little bit, a little bit more of a kind of an orange little petal over here. And um, I think I want some sort of little orange color right here. Even though I'm going on top of paint that's already orange, the trick is with this, keep mixing colors as you go. Does that make sense? So if I'm saying this is here like this and this little petal down here, then I might take a little ultramarine blue and um, uh, maybe some red, okay? Make a little magenta with that, right? There you go. I've got sort of a wine color, right? So I might come close to here do a little wine color in here like that, and then come along the inside here and do a little wine color. Maybe, um, let's put something in here like that. I'll just put a few little darks in here. This is one where you're, not, you're doing, you just keep varying the lights and the darks. I'm doing a few darks so that you don't lose where I am. Here, if we, we know this little area right here, this big corner is dark, and we know that uh, this little corner is dark, okay? And I know that this little corner is going to be dark. Put a little more magenta with that. And I know I've got a little bit of a dark corner in here. And something around here that's going to be dark. Okay, this is good. Oh, oh this little piece in here is going to be dark. Okay, like that. And, you know, something like that. So, you know, as I, as I go, I'm just sort of making a, like a little map of where stuff is, right? How we refer to it blocking in? Yeah, that's it. There you go. Little map where <laughs> things go. Isn't that what I said? No, apparently not. <laughs> apparently that's not what I said. But anyway, I've got that. And then at some point, I might even come up here between this one. This is still wet. But that can be very effective, too. This is when it's still wet. Then this little area just smudges out. makes like a little shadow. See that? So this is a good one to decide when you're doing wet on what, how that works, wet on wet. Pinch your brush, use the back of it, and just soften that into the wet paint. See how you've got that little soft shadow, and you didn't have to do much to get it did, either, did you? This is a little blue. Let's put a little red on that. Okay, now I'm going to get a little white and red. Just something like that. And I'm going to come around here like this, and uh, come back here. And just uh, color this maybe a little pink. Kind of over the orange. Just, there we go. Just kind of following it. If you leave a little bit of the yellow, that's okay. You can go over it. Helps you find out where you've been. What's so fun about this painting, and let's see, this is dry enough now. If I take a little of this light pink, right, and put a little more magenta with it, I can come up here and here like this. This is tacky, but it's not dry yet. Does I mean, it's not, it's not real wet. So if I put a little white with this, if I wanted something a little bit, keep the brush strokes flat. Wiggle it around and just lift. Do this and lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, wait, wait, three, wait, wait, lift. Wait, where are you? Up here. Let me back out a little bit. Okay. Oh, so, you're up on the side again. Yeah, here, here's a little bit of red. I'm going to do it here, right? Yeah. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. Put a little white with it. Here, you've got a little bit of white. See, just on one side of the brush, hold it very flat, barely touch it. One, two, three, lift. So you're kind of doing a dry brush, wet brush. Well, it's a wet brush, but yeah. it's but it's doing that. So I like that color. So where else can I use that color? A little bit of red and, and this color. I'm going to put some of this color in here like this. Okay, like that. So really, if somebody is painting this for themselves, the colors are really up to them, stay in the same family that you're using? Yeah, it's just stay in the same family in lights and darks. You know, have fun with this and try to vary it between the two uh, branches. Like, for instance, here's a little cad red. And... Um, I might want a little bit of that in there because that's too close to the same color as the other, um, as that other petal. And then if I keep pinching it, here's a little yellow. Now look, I can just on one side, I can twist that around. Just see how I'm doing that? See how I'm twisting this? Then I'll just wipe that paint off. I make little dams and stuff. This is, you know, you learn, I promise you, you do this painting, you're going to learn a lot about um, how to... Uh, just let's just lighten this up a little bit here. How to how to play with different um, 
wet and dark colors. And here's some darker peach, you know, the magenta. Here's a little cad red in here like this. And the paint's pretty thick. See that? My paint's pretty thick in there. And that's it, it's not drying out on me because of that. Now, I know I want some, some lighter pink up in here. So I'm going to put that in here like this. I'm going to just bring that around. And one little angle brush is perfect for this. See, so here's something a little lighter. And let's say, what? So I want something lighter up here, too. You've been using the same brush the entire time? The whole time. And I'm just using a rag and wiping it off, right? And that's your angle brush? Yes, my little angle brush. And those, those are great. And I, the best place to, for me to get those, because I'll, here's why. Other people sell these silver brushes, but the brush guys, they give us all discounts all year long. They don't wait to some super sale and one, you know, a couple times a year you get, maybe you get some sort of fancy deal. They, they are very nice. If you use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word, again, don't, no spaces. Um, here's a little white. Just barely touching it, just kind of bringing that over. Um, what, they, what they have been so gracious about doing, and it's really awesome, you are going to do a little bit of light along here too is they've been giving all of us 5% discounts off of anything you order on the um, on the site. It doesn't have to be, you know, you can go to my teacher page and the, the, the Art Sherpa brushes, my daughter Cinnamon. Um, you can get, you know, her brushes 5% off if you put that in the discount code. But if it does, the co code doesn't work, it's because you made it two words, not one. Okay, so here's a little bit of white here. We're going to lighten this up. Let's try a little bit of yellow and let's make a lighter orange here. And try a little of this color here. That's pretty. How about over here? Where could we put this? Maybe in here, like this. Let's put a little of this color in here. That's kind of nice. Donna would like to know, are there brushes you can suggest where the tips won't splay out or fray? Well, it depends how you use them. But, for instance, one of the things you never want to do is dry a brush and, hold it and then let it dry straight up like this because that will ruin the brush. But these angle brushes, these ruby satin silver angle brushes last the longest for me, you know? And she's very rough on brushes. I can attest to that. They last the longest, but you know, brushes wear out. And if also the other thing that'll wear out your brush is if you don't sand your canvas. Yes. And see, that's, that really does people in. If they don't sand their canvas, right? Because most people don't know to do that. We're gonna do a little dark in here like that. We're gonna add some dark in the center here. Like that, just we're gonna just make that all wiggly. Let's see, we need some dark. We we have to put a little of our dark back, otherwise we're gonna kind of lose focus. Let's put a little dark along in here too, kind of break this little edge up. Okay, that's nice. So as you can see, this is not a this isn't this is only hard because it's layered. But for instance, you know, we've got, um, I believe, wh where was this painting, John? Do you remember? Was this on YouTube or was our Academy? I think this Academy. was. A, yeah, you think so? Yeah, you bunch of well, tape. It, it, a big tape yeah, job. yeah, this was a, this is a, an abstract that we've got, which I think is really pretty. It's in our Art Academy. And um, I thought we did that on YouTube too, kind of kind of show you that how they go, right? This is really pretty. This is one we have in yeah, our academy. You, you really need to tell the camera guy. I'm going to show stuff. Can you back I'm going to show a stuff. Bit? You know, back out a little bit. I'm going to show stuff here, camera guy. I'm going to show stuff. So um, you can see this is a cool abstract. I really thought this one was on YouTube too. No? Yes. I don't think so. He can't. We can't remember. I can't remember. Right? Judy would know. Judy, Judy probably knows. Judy is it on? I don't know. Judy knows. Judy, tell us where that. I know for sure it's that, you know, this was, um, you know, kind of a neat abstract. Oh, Tonya says it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. I thought so. This was a YouTube well, why one. Why do you ask me? Well, because we're having a conversation. It's polite. Oh, is it that nice? Now, but this one I know is in the Academy. And this is a, something similar, but all of the blue tones. See, this is the cool, cool, bl cool blues with the warm, warm greens and the hot reds. How's can you, that? Can you turn it over? It's upside down. Oh, yeah, it's upside down. Well, there you go. Oh, that looks so See, awesome. And I always thought this looked a little bit like stained glass. But look how nice this painting looks with this one. Can you kind of see it like that? Yeah, Can you yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it look nice? Yeah, they do. I mean, I think they kind of go, right? And, and the question gets asked, can you do this larger? Sure. 
Knock your socks off. Yeah, these are these are all real. You know, anytime you take a flower and blow it up to about 100 times bigger than its natural size, it gets impressive. So, now that's that. I'm going to show one more thing. I'm kind of letting this dry a little bit, you guys, so I don't have to do the dryer. All right, now, what? in our academy, there are people. Somebody actually made the snarky remark. Hey, 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 hey. Be nice. Someone actually made the snarky <laughs> remark, remark to me today. <laughs> wasn't today, but it was sometime. In fact, they emailed me and said, Ginger's paintings are so messy. Do you think she can teach me how to paint? And I'm telling you, I don't think we're that messy. We have all kinds of paintings that are done more in the photorealism style. I try very hard not to teach you to paint like me. I try to teach you how to paint, and you find your own rhythm and style. And by trying all these different styles, you eventually come up with things that are comfortable to you. Um, here's another one. These are three magnolia. Those are, those are the ma white magnolia on a red background. Here's its companion piece, the three magnolias on the blue background. These are wonderful um, videos that we have it, on our art academy and th some of these are two three hours long okay and and they really go into great detail okay so if you think that might be fun um, you might enjoy doing that but if you're having fun with this let's keep going um, I'm gonna keep painting on this because I think I'm having fun with this I hope you are so well I think this is kind of dried up enough where we can keep going any questions I can answer, John, while I'm painting away? Can you do this rose realist instead of abstract? Well, absolutely. Sure you could. Yeah, sure. You can do anything realistic. I don't have the picture I took it from because it was a PMP folder. It started out it's, as a realistic rose, so sure. Did you did you put that in your favorite if they went to your PMP? I did paper? not. I okay. did not put it in. I might do it by tomorrow. Have it in my over there in my PMP, but it'll look like it'll you won't be in favorites because they can't find those, but they can they can go to my gallery and find it um, on, on PMP. Uh, the, maybe by tomorrow I'll get it up there. And then you can see the actual photo I took it from. But, you know, you can do any old rose photo. You're just talking about lights and darks. Though, I'm telling you what, if you did a photo of this realistically, I haven't showed you how to do that, you know? So I don't know, can you? I mean, I'm not being facetious, but that's... that's Are you being snarky? No. Okay. So, you know... Because I actually haven't, you, we're playing a little bit with lights and darks, but not, you know, that's basically what we're doing here today is we're playing a little bit with some lights and darks, okay? Now, it's interesting. This took me a while to figure out how I wanted to do this. It's actually going much faster now that we're on it. I'm going to take some white paint, and look, here's the thing. Do you see all the white paint on this side of the brush? Can you see that? Kind of. On the side, I mean, that's really right here, can you see it? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now I'm going to hold it up on edge like this, and I'm going to just sort of tilt it a little bit like this. See, now here's the thing. You never want to just outline paintings. I'm going to drop some. So what you want to do then, see how fat that line is? Yeah. So what you've got to do is then you've got to have thick and thin. This is one of the rules in painting, thick and thin lines. So you come in here like this, and you have some of this line thinner than others, so it doesn't have the appearance of being outlined. Yes? and maybe cha even change the color here, like this. So you want to be careful when you're doing this to just don't look like you outlined the whole thing, because that's just going to look dumb. Okay? And then you're going to go, well, I don't understand why my thing didn't look like hers. And it, it's going to, it's not really, it's probably going to just, it's going to be a wonderful painting. It's going to look like yours. But if you don't want it to look too silly, don't, don't outline the whole thing. And change the colors that you're outlining with. Too. Like, for instance, I'm going to say this is this one. Let's see, let's put a little bit of white and yellow with it now. Here's a little bit of yellow. And I'm just dragging this paint, which is very thick, and dropping it that way. And you see it's getting this interesting line. Is that pretty? So let's take a little bit of this light oh, let color. Me, let me make a, uh, a comment here. Yeah. Maureen asked that the, the, she has a chat going up the right side on the side of the Ginger's painting, and it's very disconcerting. If you change your mode to either theater mode, full mode, or hide the chat, you can get rid of the chat. But in theater mode, the chat will drop below the le below the lesson, so you don't have to see it. Several ways to get rid of the chat. Okay, yeah. If you don't want to chat with us, that's fine. We don't mind. All right, so now I'm going to come around here like this one. Now remember that this is white paint. The paint's all on this side of the brush. You with me? I'm going to come out here like this and make this demarcation kind of tilt it back this way. Okay, so I've got quite a fat line here, but I've got a ridge. 
So I don't leave that like that. I'm going to just take the, the paint here, come underneath that. Here, now look how it's, because it's white, how it's making a gradation. Isn't that a pretty color? Because it's mixing with the white paint right as I do it. Okay, and I think I want a little bit of red right on here, like this, maybe a little magenta on this one. This is where you now pinch the brush, pinch it again, take a little white paint here, pinch it again, and just get in the habit of, of layering your colors so it's, they're not all the same. Okay? Because that's, that's what makes the things kind of pretty. And I want to come out here with a little yellow. I want to come out here like this. I'm holding the yellow straight up like this. Just, there you go. And I want to say that here, I've got a little, I'm going to say well, this is sort of chucked back over here like that, okay? Now I'm still in the yellow, okay? I might come up here at the bottom, and at the bottom I'm dragging this paint, and, it's, and it's, it's mixing with this color, you see, that's mixing with the red, so if nothing's happening, then maybe I have to let it dry a little bit, and then, then pinch it off, you can kind of reshape it, here's some more yellow, um, I want a little bit of yellow on the, let's see, enough paint on this side, see the little glob of paint, holding it straight up and letting that kind of fall down here like this. Okay, then reshape it, and I'm going to come around here on the inside and do that too. How about here? Let's do that. Okay, and I'm making these almost like little snow banks of, of, uh, of color. There's a question. I'm not sure. They didn't quite type it right, but let me throw it at you and you'll probably figure it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like to know, when putting in the other colors, i.e. the blue, do you try to place a complementary color or just where you feel you want? Is there a method to your madness? Yeah, when we get to the blue, we'll tell you. <laughs> How's that? Yes, there's a method to my madness, you bet. The blues were complementary colors. These are the dark shadows of, in, from my reference photo, all right? These right in here were the dark shadows. They're, this isn't just, um, uh, you know, this is what we're saying here. These are some dark shadows that were in my reference photo that were very dark. And um, so here's a little bit of blue here, like that. They're a little, they were very dark, right? Hmm. Now, the same thing here. I've got something. Remember, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So sometimes you may feel like um, um, you don't have quite the, you know, maybe all the, uh, the dark you want. But kind of look and see. Take black and white photos as you go. Okay, and I'm going to just say there's another little one. Got to make this a little wider. Okay, so there's a kind of, this is, I'm trying to do as much as I can before I have to start drawing. So I know I want some sort of yellow over in here. And that's going to be the real test for the microphone. And, um, and let's see, let's take a little bit of CAD Red with that and wipe it off. See, I put it right there and then just blend that in. Because this is dry now, so it's going to, then this is lift. Blend and lift, right? Blend and lift. Flatten and lift. Okay, so I've got a little bit of brighter red there. Let's put a little bit of orange next to it and wipe it off. Lori would like to know, are you using Holbein today? I'm using some of my Holbein. Absolutely. That's why you're getting all these great colors. Now, a little <laughs> bit of magenta and blue. Let's get something a little darker right in here, right that, right? And you see how we're just sort of, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. I'm going to say that there's a dark area right there. And then here's maybe a light area. Now, what do I do about these two colors? See, see, I'm pinching. Just smudge out the edge. Which is a technical term. Well, smudge out the edge. There you go. There you go. So there you go. Something like that. All right. So let's take a second. I'm going to dry this. John's going to chat with you a bit. And I'm going to dry this, and then we'll keep going. At some point, you got to dry it. You just have nothing but one color, right? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I gotta figure out who you are. Talk. Hello. Oh, good. I think I got rid of you right off the bat. Cool. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, this is our first live since the birthday bash, and we would really love to thank each and every one of the members. We had 40 people show up for the birthday bash, and it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, we really, really love meeting the public. 
the people that follow us and they have great ideas and we're still in conversation with them continuously but basically on a daily basis uh, we have a little uh, Facebook chat room set up for our group so we can continue learning from each other we're trying uh, a lot of new things this year we've got a lot of plans this year and hopefully we'll get a lot of them executed the website is being updated i have enlisted my son to help and we are almost done with that so you'll see more changes over there and it'll be easier to find lessons we're excited about that many 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 more uh, lessons are going to be put on the auction site on not on the downloadable site uh, we just recently we just recently added the Mulberry Hill in the autumn lesson, and the rest are going up. Do you have the, you have that somewhere, Mulberry Hill? I'm still on. I'm well, talking we, about the downloads. Yeah, but you should show people what it is. Well, I can't show people. I don't. I'm, I don't. I'm not as big as you. I mean, well, you could you star. could get up and get it off the wall, and I could show them. Oh, you, so you want me to move again? Yes. <laughs> He's so clever. He catches on so quickly, doesn't he? All right. Now, in this painting, I've got to have a little more flower out here, more than my original sketch. So I'm going to add another leaf back out here. Well, the sound didn't mess petal. up with the microphone. What? I'm the not sound didn't mess up. Oh, it didn't. That's nope. great. I changed the frequency. So I'm going to add another little petal out here, like this, and just bring it back, like that. Here's a little red on magenta. Tap that in. There we go. Okay, so I want just a little other petal back there, and then I'll put a little dark behind that, uh, like this, and just get a little dark back here. Okay, so just I just needed this flower to come out a little bit wider than I had it, and it wasn't. So, um, you know, that's okay. That's you know one of the things you can do. Um, John's gonna is getting Mulberry Hill, which I'll show you in a minute. It's one of my favorite. You know, we all have some paintings that we're really proud of for the year that we've done. Mulberry Hill is one of my all-time favorites. It's uh, I think it's really fun. Here's a little bit of bright orange here. I'm gonna make a, create a new little petal right here. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna bring one up here like this, create a new one, and here's some white. I'm gonna come on up here like this. Now, remember I told you you don't want to leave that white like that, so what do you do? You just bring it down so you barely see the line. See? Isn't that, isn't that just so interesting how you can... This is a wonderful painting to do to really figure out how your paints work. You know, because, I mean, that's, to me, really cool. So the other paint I like is this, this golden uh, fluid flow when you're trying to do, you know, tiny lines. Now, some of you, somebody said they wanted a line. I think the question was, do you have a line? This is what I'm using here, the golden titanium fluids. You have, you want something that's more, um, a tighter line. Is that what you're telling me, right? So what can you do? If you have a, a long brush like this, these are, um, this, these are actually called script brushes, okay? So I'm going to wet it. I'm going to show you what you can do with a brush like this. And then roll the, roll it in the paint. Can you see how I'm kind of rolling it? Roll the paint, right? And you just sort of hold it straight up, right? And if you need something really small, this will do it. So it's almost like a Posca pen. It can be like that. Now look how much paint there was because I didn't kind of roll that too much. I got a little yeah. glob right there, but it doesn't matter. You On something like this. See, and I can come out here and it literally is, this is a great brush for um, outlining trees, for instance. Um, uh, I'm not gonna outline everything, but I might want something here like this. this is a little bit wet here. You notice how I'm twisting the brush to get it to be, and I'll just take a little tip on here, barely touch it. And then if I pinch it, I can still get it tinier yet. I pinch that and reshape it. Look how thin I can get a line. It really, literally is a script brush. And the same thing here with the, the inside of our, our rose. So you could use a brush like this and then um, if you wanted to have it a little bit pinker, you could add a little color to it. It would still flow very nicely. Do you see that? It really would. 
And you know, if you needed a, like a little something that felt a little pinker and less white. Uh, so maybe you would just, uh, in other words, I'm gonna be using a Posca pen when I'm all finished. But if you didn't have that, a little brush like this, it can be very effective, okay? And again, I'm just gonna say, we're trying not to outline the whole thing, but sometimes, let's, let's try a little yellow with it. Uh, Cause you can buy it in colors. I have a whole pile of this over there somewhere in different colors, but I'm just gonna put some white and um, yellow together so you can see that and see how that would be and, and what does it do. See, it, look how thin I can get this. So a brush like this is uh, fun. If I push harder, I make a fatter line. Do you see that? I can come down here and push harder and then go thick, thin. That's one of the things you want to do when you're making your art is try for thick and thin lines. Here, there's a fat line and then bring it up, barely touch it. The harder you push on any brush, the fatter the line. So that, you know, that's a really good example, I think, of um, what you can do with a brush like this. You can just come in here like this and, um, you know, do some really nice, uh, something like that. All right, so I'm gonna put this away now, but I, I thought that would be helpful. I, I figured you might guys might like to see that there's so many different brushes. The question comes up all the time about brushes and there's just so many different brushes you can use. I think I want a little pink in here. I'm gonna come this way and then wipe the brush because that's been in the water. And then just blend that out, okay? So we have any other marvelous questions, John? Uh, yeah. What tips would you would Ginger have if she was using a square canvas for this rose? Um, I think a square one would work. I might just cut it off right about there. That's what I'm thinking. It's pretty. It but too make much it. To do I it. don't know. I I might bring it out further here. You want one? You want it to bring it out to one edge. I'd probably still bring it out further. You want it to bring it out. To, that's not just a circle. We've got, look here, with the, look here, this one, you can kind of see what we're talking about. You've got to bring some part of it out, you know? Yeah, some of it fall off. Yeah, it needs, it needs a little place to, you know, play it there. So let's see, I need a little bit of light pink um, in here a little bit like that. Okay, in the center here. We have a lot of new people on the show this evening, and they like to know Beaker Squeaker. Beaker Squeaker Squeaker, which is so fun to say. Uh, is Cinnamon, is, is she your daughter? Cinnamon's my daughter. There you go. Cinnamon's my daughter, and... Um, the Art Sherpa. The, the Art Sherpa's my daughter, and, um, you know, she, I, she gave me a shout-out tonight, which I appreciate very much. She kind of shared this rose. She says one of her favorite pictures. She really liked it. She said she shared it. I thought it was very sweet. Um, she's, yeah, she's my daughter. She lives about an hour from me here in Texas, my grandkids. And I was just telling John one of my favorite stories about Cinnamon. I think since she shared it, you all get a private story about her. Don't you think that's fair? <laughs> when she was about three years old, she had gotten over a cold. And I remember saying to her, well, honey, are you feeling better? And she said, I'm feeling better, but I still have the echoes. And I thought, isn't that just the most perfect way? Only a kid could describe exactly how you feel. You're not quite well, but you're not sick anymore. You don't have the raging flu, but you're not 100%. I still have the echoes of the illness. I, I thought still that have was. The echoes. I thought I thought that was just great. I thought that was just the best thing ever. I like to say that today when I want to say where I'm um, uh, on a recovery Ooh, from we something. We have Art Thomas in the house tonight. Oh, our our uh, Art Thomas. Um, you is know, join us. We did this. Barn hero. Yeah, our tractor and barn hero. <laughs> you know, we had 40 people join us on my birthday bash cruise this last February, and Art was one of them. And I gotta say, thanks everybody. If you guys are watching for coming, uh, you want to see my mask? Uh, some of the, our um, friends that came, um, Becky Sermons and some of the others, got together and they got everybody was dressed up in these fancy masks for the birthday they look dinner. Good, don't they? Aren't I these think just way look. cool? We're going to go for it. Yeah, and um, everybody had masks, and there was table decorations. And, I mean, it, the ship was, was on this cruise ship, and they were just, I don't think they'd ever seen anything like it. And we had the best time, the best party ever. 
And we had a whole week where I got to review people's paintings. Some people were able to paint. I was able to, you know, I painted a little tiny bit. Uh, mostly I spent time one-on-one -on -one with people just visiting and making suggestions. And that was a fabulous trip of the, birth, the birthday bash. So, we'll probably and, do another one next year. And we will limit them to 40 people. Yeah, we're, we're, we have we learned have no something from that. We will never do more than 40. And um, and I, they when we'll let people know and and we want it. This personal art coaching was so effective on that trip that we're going to feature that as the next one, where you, people can bring their artwork and I can really. It only took uh, what art what eight times nine times. Yeah, it, yeah art, well, I sent ba art back to the drawing <laughs> board about eight times with that painting that he just did. But did it come out like a piece oh, of it was museum awesome, quality right? art? Yeah, it it really did. So it was really something. So what I want to do here is I think I've I've got a lot of the colors in here. It's it's very similar, if you can see. I think my flowers is you know pretty much, except for the blue. I think I'm and the and the outlining in a bit. I think I'm very close to being done with this. All right. So which I think is way cool. John, I want to show, let me just get this out of the way. I want to show Mulberry Hill because you guys, if you're new to me and you don't know about this, I've got I've, I've been a professional artist for over 50 years. And um, and John and I have this really fabulous art, art academy online where we offer personal art coaching where you send in your artwork and I can make some very helpful suggestions. And I'll tell you what, it makes a huge difference to the people that are members. And we do really in-depth tutorial from basic beginner, which we have all the way up to what I would call, we call a, because of the ginger cook, kind of cookie metaphor thing, uh, a box of cookie lessons. This is, you backed up on this? I have backed that, up. This back is Mulberry, Mulberry Hill, which is one of my very favorite paintings that we did tutorials that we did this year this is uh what is that it is in 14 pieces with the yeah. with the bonus lesson is seven and a half hours yes yeah, it's a seven and a half hours long and it's also if you don't have time to join the academy it's also in gingercookondemand.com uh, you can just buy the individual lesson if you want but uh, the best deal of course is to join the academy but you can own it if you want it and paint it at your leisure but I really like this. It's done. It's an original piece. It's done in the Thomas Kincaid style of painting, which many people enjoy. And I think it's a great one on atmospheric uh, perspective, as well as how to add light and darks to your painting. So Mulberry Hill is now available, you guys, which is way cool. Hey, we'd like to thank Eric for the donation with no comment, though. Eric, you're slipping, buddy. We appreciate it, though. Thank oh, you very listen, much. Oh, listen, thank you very much. So one thing you can do during the live shows is we is uh, do a donation, and uh, you don't have to. This is something, if you just feel like we're so fabulous you can't stand it, and you just want to <laughs> do that. What do, what do we do with the money? Well, uh, one of the things we do is that we have a scholarship program in our art academy, and one of the things we do is that when you guys donate, um, people write us all the time and ask for scholarships, and we when when donations come in, then we batch it, and then we'll donate either a week or a month or sometimes a year to somebody. You never know. And um, so you, you can just specifically, if you have a specific person you think would make a great, uh, per, you know, maybe you know that their finances won't allow them the uh, the, the time, you know, the, the resources to, to be an Academy member, but you think they'd get benefit from a month of personal art coaching, you can, you can use the donation button on our website it's clear at the bottom now we moved it and um the i'm gonna do my little rattly thing here because i think this is so cool not for any other reason that i'm just distracted now anyway what happens is is that you can specifically name the person and who you'd like us to contact last year i, I know we did thousands of dollars worth of of scholarships last year and um we offered we have new absolutely new the videos every week on our website okay so here's one that's uh, just recently this was both for the wave and water master class and our vll this was a little square uh, 10 by 10 uh, koi fish pond i try to uh, some are, our videos are very big you know the paintings are very big others are small because i know everybody's busy but they still want to learn the techniques so we highly recommend our academy i think that's one of my favorite lessons too okay so i think this is dry enough where we can do a few, we'll do a little of the blue. Here's why you don't want to do blue over wet. Where did the color wheel go? Do, 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 do. Color wheel. Hello, color wheel. It used to be over there on your left. Other left, other right. Ah, here. All right. So here's a color wheel. And why do you want to know? You, everybody should just have one on GP. But you'll notice that um, 
blue is opposite orange on the color wheel, like that, see? That sort of blues opposite, kind of orange reds, opposite orange. So what happens is turquoise is opposite to orange. What happens is, is that when you have opposites on the color wheel and they touch each other when they're red, they go muddy. Yeah, no kidding. So people say, gosh, I don't know why my paintings go so muddy and yours don't. It was because I dry. And I, I can play along with wet on wet and all the pinks and the reds and the yellows and the oranges. And I'm just fine. But I, I make sure the blue is dry. So I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow and a tiny bit of phthalo blue. And I'm going to make this pretty phthalo blue color and put a little more white with it, right? And I'm going to come up here in the middle of my flower and just do the tiniest bit of accent color to this. Okay, just a tiny little bit here, like that. Not too much. You don't want to overdo it. And then I'm putting in, and the question is, I'm putting it right by next to some orange. I'm kind of wiggling it around here like that. And I'm not doing very much. Just enough to give it what I call a little color surprise. And I've got a little bit, I think we did a little bit over in here like this. And let's put a little more white with that and lighten that up here. Okay, just a tiny little bit. And then the other color I did, which was way cool, was I had, I don't love it. You know, people say, what kind of paints do you use? I would just say use any of your um, professional acrylics to get good colors, really bright, vibrant colors. But uh, this Holbein, these Holbein people really have it going on with the bright colors. This is um, their um, Cadbury light, red light. And if I do a dot, just next to here and here like that. That is one bright. And I actually had one that was brighter than that. Where's that bright one? That's not the one I had, John. I had a brighter one than that. Where'd it go? We don't know. Don't you love it when things are out here? Oh, this is neat. Let's do luminous rose. Uh, uh, people say, when do you use bright colors? Flowers are the ones you can just let all the stops out. Here's something called luminous rose. Look at that. That's pretty. What does it look like with white? Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that bright or what? Just put a little bit of, let's see, luminous rose and white. Look at that. That's, that's almost iridescent. I want a little bit of that. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, where do I want to see some of this? Up here, maybe. Oh, we had a, pay, a PayPal donation come, come in from Carmen. Thank you very much, Carmen, for that donation. We appreciate it very much, Carmen. That's very nice. All right, I'm going to put a little of this, holding it flat now, and then lift, right? Flat and lift. There, just a little bit over here, like that. Now back to the red on, near it, keeping it flat. Okay, and uh, I need a little bit brighter red over here. I need something really bright right there. I'm just looking to see the places in the other picture where I really had some pizzazzy colors. Which is what we're going for here, pizzazz. And then I'll take a minute and dry everything and we'll just play the last little bit with the Posca pens. But I am missing and I don't understand where it went. I had this out. What I promise you, it's a very, very light orange. It's this one right here. Oh, that orange. And it's, it's um, iridescent. That's a, that's, a, uh, that's a Holbein, right? It's a Holbein. Mm -hmm. Can you see it anywhere? Nope, that's not it. This one. It, oh, yeah, it's this one. It looks yellow. It's called luminous yellow. Look at this, you guys. It's fluorescent to me. It's almost fluorescent. Look at this when you add just a touch of that. Don't touch the, be careful, don't touch the, um, don't touch any, else wet any of that blue. I'm just doing a bit of that in the center and maybe just a bit of this. Here, make sure my brush is clean. This is really awesome. Sometimes you can just do awesome stuff with, you know, just the touch. You d the trick with a color like this is don't overdo it. See, like for instance, if we know this is in here like that, don't, don't go crazy with it. And then you really, you know, here like this. Let's put a little bit right here like that. And it's really bright and pretty. So, okay. So here we go. I'm going to dry this real quick and then we'll, we'll show you how to do the pen pen trick, which I think is fun, and it gets you um, a little bit further along down the road with your colors. 
and then we'll be done with this and we'll start the painting for the giveaway, okay? One, one, one moment, please. I have to find you. Find me. I'm over here. Ready? Yes, I know. Right now. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to leave these on just in case I sound goes screwy. We have uh, two new members to our staff that were joined us on the birthday cruise. And I haven't fully come up with names for these guys yet. This is, uh, oh, she is a bird type individual. Get back a little bit so you can see it. Uh, she still has the birthday crown on. She'll show that to you. So she's been added to the staff members. Um, and like I said, we don't have a name for her quite yet. Something will come to us, though, I'm sure, shortly. And also, who would not love a, you know, in honor of the grouper fish we just did, we have this little guy here who is also joining the staff as a swimmer of some type. And again, no name has been given to either one of these guys, but they will be shortly. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the guys. You spent those the guys. Am I no back names. on? Yeah, you're back on. The okay. no names. Well, I mean, those were some of the, the, you know, our new members of the staff that got that got presented to us on the birthday cruise, which was awesomely fun. Awesomely fun. I now, one of the things about Posca pens is you must do is you must shake them up. There's a little metal ball in there, and you must shake them up. And again, if you didn't have it, you could use a liner brush and come back and finish it, something like that. Um, here we go. I'm just going to barely touch it now. Just don't, the trick is don't outline the whole thing. Does that make sense? Oh, uh, Luann, the fur, we still have it. It's in a bag. That was just getting everywhere and up everybody's nose. <laughs> yeah, that she came so with you. a little she fur shawl, it. but... Um, all right, so I've got a little bit, you can see where I've got a little bit of the yellow, not a lot, right? And I'll come back over here with a little pink. And um, and you always kind of just touch it up and down like that. So if it's dripping, it's not doing that. And all right, let's just see, Here, here's a... Um, well, you want to make sure it is actually working and it's not going to do a burp on you. Yeah, so you just, these are kind of relaxed and easy colors. We're not trying, again, we're not trying to outline every petal. We're just saying that there might maybe something here like this we want to do. And um, I think I did, did something like that in here like this. And um, let's see. Something like that. And then if you wanted to, you now look, this is a kind of, then it gets a little more tricky. But you could do, if you lost your darks on your flower, now you have to make sure you're really dry before you do this because Posca's will wipe up if you're not. But if you needed to, you can come back, make sure that it's uh, um, really dry. You could come back and, and just do a few, in, toward the center, you could do a few little dark lines if you needed to, something like that, to get your, um, to add emphasis somewhere to somewhere. Does that make sense? I, yeah. That did, it didn't to me when I said it, but it does now, <laughs> all right? And then I'm going to go back, and everybody says, well, you thought you were done. Well, what I want to go back, now I'm looking at this, right, and I need some, I need some darker areas that I'm missing some, so I'll take a little blue and red, and I'm going to make a, I need just some darker areas that I just, I don't have a, a good dark balance. So if you sent this in to me, I'd say, well, I, I need some darker areas for dark balance, and so might come in here like this, Put something right here. Now, how do you know you need that? Well, because I, I've, I've looked at the other painting and I worked out the details, <laughs> and I, I kind of went off some of the shadows on my, uh, uh, you know, on my original. Does that make sense? Uh, I went off some of the shadows on my original so that so I. So this really comes into painting design. That this comes into painting design, so you can't really get into too much of that. That's that's a whole other course, the painting design bit, but. I know, for instance, that I, I might want, I think I want something dark right in here, there like that, maybe just cover that white line up. Again, you don't want the whole thing outlined, that's the trick on this. You don't want it outlined, maybe I want something a little darker here, another little darker shadow here. Hey, we'd like to thank um, Divana 
for the donation. And also, Carrie, thank you very much, you two. Oh, we thank really appreciate that. Thank you very much, you guys. That is just too, too kind. We appreciate it very much. And um, What is the point thickness on those Posca pins you are currently using? Um, these ones were... Are they clear or black? This was a, the the black ones are. Um, I think they're the point sevens. Point sevens, yeah. This is a. Um, you want to try to do that without your glasses on? Well, I, even when I'm with my glasses, that doesn't help me. <laughs> point nine. This is a point, point nine. nine. This is a point nine. This is a. That should be point nine. Probably a point nine. Yeah, here it is. Point something or other. Point nine. Yeah. Good of you to ask, right? It wasn't me. It was somebody that went flying by. Well, I don't think it hurts to ask these questions, no. right? And the same thing here with the white one. You know, I've got these these white ones, too, and I like these, too. And sometimes if you don't have enough, you know, the white ones are really good, too, because you can, you know, you can play with just in a couple places for emphasis. You can play with the white. You don't out, again, you don't outline the whole thing. You just might say, okay, so I like this here. Maybe I want, let's see, that's pretty wet right there. Maybe I want something a little bit lighter right on this edge. So if I can, if the one thing I could say is if I can talk you not into outlining the whole thing, that would make me the happiest. Here, let's do a little bit of white in this. And let's just come over here with the pen now. Here, I'm just going to do this on this edge, right? And then maybe take a little yellow and go right next to it like that. Just... There, okay. And what happened there was, do you see this little dark in here? What that was, was the brush wasn't clean. You can't keep going from light to dark, so that's a good thing. Now we're gonna, because we dried this, we can erase that. Okay, now I'm just gonna paint some white in here and, and fix that. Because that was, um, that got some of the darker color in it. Now, here we go. So even if you don't, can't, you can, you can always make a skinny line by, um, ooh, I like that shape petal too right there. You can always make a skinny line by um, uh, just making a fat line and then taking another color next to it. But I still like the drop down effect where you have the paint and then bend it and drop it. I love that. And then you can come back here like this and you can take this side and make it skinny. See, you can come either side to make a thin line. So if you're having trouble making a thin line, just know how you mixed your colors. All right, so that I would say would be probably pretty happy with that one. Pretty happy with that one. Pretty happy with that one. I think we're just going to call this one done, and uh, I'll just sign it real quick. A rose, but... I will just sign it real quick, and I think this was fun. This was I thought it might be fun to do for Valentine's Day. Coming up very soon. And uh, you know maybe you have somebody that you want to do a Valentine's thing for. I'll never get it done in time. I know. There. Cook slash to the name, and uh, I like my I like my fancy orange. Didn't you like my blue? Isn't showing up enough though. See, this is what happens to me. I look at acrylics dry darker, so I'm looking at this as going. And that was a different thalo blue than I normally use, and I don't see my other one. What do I got? Just need a thalo blue here, friends. Uh, well, whose was it? Well, like that was the that was the whole bind, but it was a darker one. I need a just a normal phthalo blue. Don't we have any of that stuff? <laughs> Surely we have some. Thalo no, see turquoise. that's their, their thalo the thalo turquoise. turquoise. Oh, and that's ultramarine. Don't we have a thalo somewhere? Look, just a regular thalo. <laughs> I don't want much just, in life. Just just these things when I want them. Oh, you're a pain. He thinks I'm a pain, but I'm not. Here, I want you to see the difference. All right, so now here's some thalo blue, yes and yes, and some white. Okay, I want it brighter. See that's blue right here? I want a little bit of this blue right here, just a well, bit so brighter. Asking how do you frame the little six by eight little canvases? We have a uh, video on that somewhere, don't we? Yeah, we do. Can one of the gals give us the link to the framing of the six by eight canvas? Oh, it's a little frog. It's a really fun video. It's a great video. All right, so there we go. Got that little bit of uh, just a little bit brighter color on there. See what see what I was missing? Yes. You guys could see it, right? Everybody saw out. that? Not to be a princess and a pea kind of thing here, but, but you were. Here, there we go. Just a little bit of blue right there. All right. So what was the other what was the other phthalo that you had? What was it called? Uh, that was phthalo uh, turquoise. 
turquoise this, versus sailor blue. And uh -huh. see, this one is a little bit. Um, can you see the difference in the color? That's this color, and let me show you the other one. Uh, somebody's suggesting a ginger gem of fire. How do you paint it? Do you know who suggested that? I give up. Eric? No, that'd be Miss Becky. Oh, hi, Becky. Yeah, I, we could do that, Becky. All right, I want a little bit of I yellow right here. Right. I'm okay, just, thanks, Wendy. I'm going to drop this here That's right like that. Idea. Like that. I need a little yellow. Oh, yeah, does not look great. We need a little yellow right here. There. See, I can see this in a mirror, and I can see what I need, right? And I want to drop a little yellow right here. Woo, there we go. All right, now I'm happy. Not Are quite. You? Almost, almost, almost. I, I see one so. more thing. Yeah. Yeah, just see one more thing. I want to drop something right here. There. All right, now I'm happy. Nice, 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 nice abstract design of flowers. And again, no two abstracts ever come out exactly the same. So don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. I tell you what, I had more fun with these fish you guys did. You all did these fish so differently, and they were all so fabulous. So anyway, you can, I can kind of show you these kind of side by side. Um, you know, we've Grown got, apart. they're very similar. Side by side. Yeah, like this. Oh, yeah. They're very similar, right? Very similar, I think. Yeah. So... You know, I, the, probably the main difference is I have some of these spaces are a little wider in here. If I were to make this exactly, try to make this exactly the same, I might, might make this, make a bigger dark area right here. Something like that, so that I had a little bit more of that coming through here, maybe up here like that, but very similar. So nice little, nice balances of lights and darks, and I think in here too. It's, this is why it's nice to have a reference, because I get, spent about two or three hours on this earlier today, kind of working out the lights and the darks. So there's no sense in doing it twice. I've already got a cheat sheet. It tells me what I want to do. So th that, that to me is, is, makes me very happy. And like right along in here too, make this a little darker. There we go. Ah, nice. Okay, that's it, we'll stop. We'll do something else, you guys. Everybody's with me. John's just going, is she ever gonna stop? No, I'm. I'm see, gonna, look, you said you're going to stop it. What are you doing? I give up. What am I doing? All right, okay. I just wanted a little yellow there. You could see. You could see why one might want that, can't you? I just need a little more yellow in here. Try not to do this when the paint's wet. Costco <laughs> <laughs> pen will appreciate it. Yeah, they don't like that when it's wet. All right, just put this away. We're going to do a fast uh, giveaway and answer some more questions. Okay, before you get started. Is that painting that you've been throwing around over there, the martini, the martini glass? Where is it? It's over here. You've been it's oh, buried. yeah, we have a drawing for this today. We're going to draw for this first. Remember, <laughs> if, did you enter into this contest with this? And we did this way, way back, you know, in December. In, in the first okay, of the year. First of the year, and we knew we were traveling, so you wouldn't get this back right away. <laughs> That's a understatement oh here we go seizing again but anyway uh, let me just get a posca pen for my hand so we're going to do um the word, somebody you can't enter for this now the, the entries for this are closed i'm going to do an original piece today and then you can somebody's going to win that today but we have to do this because we promised everybody about this one and people have had about a month and a half to enter this oh yeah and so it's we're surprised only 252 entries so somebody's going to be very lucky to win this one i assure you of that Oh, they are. See, we've got a nice signature on there and everything, right? So, Echo, how are you feeling today? Let's see, where's my... I'm feeling wild and free. Hmm. Okay. Echo, I need a number between 1 and 252. Your random number between 1 and 252 is 150. An excellent number indeed. 150. So I know you're all waiting on bated breath to see who won the uh, martinis and the <laughs> vodka bottle from the first. Kathy Cotter. Cotter. I, have, I Cotter? haven't seen her name yet. I haven't seen her name in here, so. But I'll put it in here. Kathy C O T T E R, winner of martini. And so olives. congratulations, Kathy, for that. We do. We'll contact what, you via email unless you're here and, and wave your hand. And then you can also, you know, send us your address. All right. So now we're going to do. Um, I'm going to do a little uh, quick uh, something. I don't know what something here. Okay. There's the link for the quick something. We don't know what. 
Yeah, yes and yes. It's already up there, ready to go. The gals will be typing it into the chat momentarily if they haven't done so already. Um, also tonight we will be giving away compliments of Kathy, another Kathy, Kathy E, a two credit downloadable lesson. One of our two credits, which I'm not sure how many there are. So it's going to be two credit or under. Okay. That comes from her as a donation, and we appreciate that, Kathy, very much. And we also have some tub of towel samples, which the boss will show us when she has a moment. Looks like she's doing another flower. I'm going for a flower. Are you going for a flower? I'm going for a flower. Yes, we need a ginger gym on correcting packs. What do you mean on correcting packs? It's not a bad idea. What hey, you do for some people, show them after they send in a pack, and, they, and you tell them to send you back something, what do they have to do? Or should that come from the Sammy and team? Yeah, we can do that. All right, now you see that I've got, uh, I've got this started, right? Yep. And the thing about a Posca pen is just if it sits there like that, it's not going to do anything except stay wet unless I hit it with the hairdryer for at least five minutes. But we're going to play a little bit, right? You, you up for that? We're going to play. We're going to do this backwards. How's that? I say let's do it backwards. That's interesting. Just go to that link there that's being put in, and the secret word is passion. That is how you will enter for this drawing and the drawing for the downloadable. And some tub of towel samples. I don't know, I'm just sort of having fun with this. You know, sometimes it's fun to doodle. And um, Oh, just playing with the colors. Just play with the colors, right? Just, or if you've you got a new brush and you want to know what it does, it's a good time to do that too. Yeah, could be that a good time to do that. Yes and yes. So and that's why we keep six by eight canvases around, just for sketches and drawings and you know working out things, working yeah. out some designs. Yeah, we do. That's, that's a, you know, it's an excellent thing to do. Okay. That I mean, for me, that's gonna be can be, be kind of fun, you know. Um, let's see what else I got around here. I've got probably more paint if I look for it. In between the Let tub me tubs. move off some of those things. I'm that telling you what, I've got just nervous. everything is just kind of a hot mess here. Over that. here. I know I've got. Uh, did you guys happen to do this painting, by the <laughs> way? See how distracted I am. Squirrel, uh, this is another YouTube one we did. This is, this is the finished one with the texture on it. This is what the texture looked like. Can you guys see that? Way cool, right? I'm looking for paint here. I just happen to be moving around here looking for paint. You got squirreled. I got squirreled, but that's all right. That's not open, so that's worthless. Let's see what do we got? This is well, you don't have to open it. We okay. got other things that open, so we'll just we'll go with the things that are already open. What do you think? Yeah. I like that and approach. Just, uh, have to say that I always am so invigorated after we come back from a trip. I get so inspired. We saw so many beautiful things on our trip, and um, got some beautiful, beautiful um, things to paint. And um, I can't wait to be painting some of the new newest stuff. But the newest thing that we did on the to be, that, that we did this year, our greatest newest thing, is the Ginger's Gems. And if you've not seen one of those, we put them on YouTube, and they're like five-minute little videos on just stuff you should know if you're painting. I guess that would be the best way to put it, right? Stuff you should know when you're painting. Okay. So um, I, I would highly recommend a Ginger's Gem. If you haven't if you haven't seen one already, and there's about 12 in the collection right now, um, th they can be really um, informative. They break down things that, as an artist that you need to kind of remember, and I think you might find them very nice. Helpful. 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 And what we want is for, because we're going to be doing a lot of these. What we want is uh, your input on making more, okay? So, so underneath the comments of any of the gems, if something comes to you, just say, hey, I'd like to know more about. 
Yeah, yeah so just 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 tell us tell us something else you'd like to see in a gem, and that we can no you know, guarantee we're doing that one, but we won't say it because if I you know your ideas are important and we appreciate them. Wow, these type of towels are just everywhere, but where I need my um, my colors to be. Good grief! Well. I'm telling you, when you come back from a trip and all the paints were packed and we're kind of unpacking them and now they're scattered everywhere, gosh. And you would think by 7.30 we'd be all ready to we're do not, all this? We're not. Listen, we just got back yesterday, so I'm sorry. We're just still recovering. <laughs> that's that's my story. I'm sticking still to it. Still recovering. Is that, yeah. Well, yeah. that's my story. I'm sticking, sticking to it, right? Well, once again, it was fantastic having those those members join us. Oh, wasn't that fun? Got so just got to meet people, got to, you know, really see everybody in person, got to meet people and really get a sense of, um, of what they want, of what they want and what they need, want to learn. And um, somebody had made the comment that they were terrified to. Um, well, that's an interesting point. Terrified to send in a pack and yeah. send in a painting for personal art coaching. I mean, Guys, that's why you're in the academy. Well, you don't have to. You can be no, in the academy and never Absolutely. send a thing in. But when you get stuck, sometimes um, when you get stuck, right, sometimes it can be very helpful to have, you know, to send in the stuff to see, to see um, what you can do to expand your art. And, and, you know, have a new set of eyes look at it. And what you all want to do is you put it up on Facebook and no one's going to say anything other than you're great. <laughs> what can they say? I mean, even if they don't think so, oh, that's so nice. I like. They're going to come up with something, right? But if you want to know how to expand your art and improve it, then you know, doesn't hurt. Just saying, doesn't hurt to have a professional thought about what you could do. Because I'll tell you what, if I if I didn't think you were capable of making the changes, I wouldn't mention them. Which is true. I have you seen know, her. We discussed even with some people. You know, I don't think someone's capable of making, you know, let's not. If you're not ready for it yet. Not ready for it, but maybe the next time. Because if you learn one new thing each painting, yeah, one new thing each painting, I think that's pretty good. And sometimes that's all it takes is just to have the one, one new thing. Lori you, would like to know, how did you use... How did you used to paint when Cinnamon was little? My toddlers don't like to let me paint. Oh, um, Cinnamon liked to paint. <laughs> Get them involved. The, thing, that, the thing that used to annoy me about Cinnamon, when she, particularly when she was in grade school, she'd do these great paintings, and then they'd disappear. I'd say, where's this picture? Well, the teacher wanted it. Or she won a contest one time at State Fair, and she sold it before I had a chance to bid on it, you know? And I'm going, yeah, I don't mind you selling stuff. If someone wants to outbid, Mom, that's okay. I just like first option. When you do something really good, I'd really like to have first option to see it, right? Just saying. Oh, you're scraping off. Do you have to be able to draw to paint? No. In fact, there's a gem on that. But watch one of my gems on that, because I have a gem on how to just do stuff really easily. You really don't. Okay, you guys so far so good, right? It's kind of cute. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Maybe not. Yes and yes. yes, yes. How many people are entering this who think it's cute? <laughs> I'll know. If you haven't entered, you must not think it's cute then. Well, let's see. We have about 400 people watching, and we've got about 200 entries. Okay. Well, some oh, people. Are, people. Yeah. Well, some people can't um, because yeah, if you're what they're on TV, watching it on. Figure out how to do it. Did you know that most people? Well, John knows this, but you <laughs> guys may not know this. Most know. people um, are watching all the stuff on their cell phones, and I'm gonna just say that that's um, really amazing to me. I thought, don't you think that was amazing, John? I, I yeah. From a web design standpoint of view, over 53% of the people are on their phones doing all the work they should be doing on a computer. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that to me was really um, interesting. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was really, really just very interesting.
that people were, you know. And we we met this one gal in um, Florida. Florida, and she had started to lo lose her vision. Uh, it would just start to disappear like a shutter in one eye. It would start to go gray on her. And the doctor said she was doing too much on her cell phone. And that she so might... So she needed to you know, go to a bigger screen. So she upgraded to the next size, bigger cell phone. I think she had a, almost a 6 inch to 5.8, and she went to the 6.5. Yeah. I think but, the doctor but probably wants But I wants think that more. there may be, everybody talks about, um, you know, cell phones, this and that, but, and I think they're so convenient. I do an awful lot on my cell phone, too. But it, it doesn't hurt to, um, you know, give, you know, t just take some care with it, don't you think? I yeah. I think so. Just, that's all. Just take a little care. That's all I wanted to say about that. I don't want to sound too preachy. I just, that, the whole thing so alarmed me, yeah? Yeah. You know, I got to say that. The whole thing just really, really alarmed me that now she was doing that. Now, watches us on TV, but chats on the phone. That's a normal brief. You know, most people would do that if they have it on the TV. Because yeah. you can't chat on your television. So how do you watch something on the TV if it's on your cell phone, John? A lot of people may not even know that, right? How well, would you do smart, that? Most people that have smart TVs now will go directly to the YouTube app that's in the TV, and then also log in with their phone. In the phone, you can chat on. If you're not fortunate enough to have a smart enough TV like I don't, you have, just have to have one of your devices bounce it off to the TV, like you can hook up your phone to a TV. I don't understand anything you just said. What do you do? Really? You, can't, you don't understand anything? You can hook up a cable to the back of your phone, hook it right into the HDMI cleat, and you probably don't even know what HDMI is, do you? Well, probably not, but to <laughs> say, it, say it in English to other people. Yeah, I'm you just can take telling a you. cable and hook up your phone to your TV. Yeah, but how'd they do that? Yeah, so you, so you say. You plug it in. Yeah. Plug in one end of the telephone, the other end of the TV. I think that's all there is to it. Well, really? Yes. I <laughs> guess I have to show you so you can say, "Huh?" Well, how come I didn't it doesn't? How come it didn't work on the cruise ship? Because they don't let us get to the other inputs. Oh, so they don't want us doing that. They don't basically. want us doing that. You're basically what you're telling me is they didn't want us to do that. They right? have blocked that feature. Yes and yes. Well, that's not very nice. No. I don't think. Do you think that was nice? I think it was very nice. Yep. Beth has a 62-inch screen. I'm thinking about tracing that TV screen. <laughs> That'd be a nice big one. What? Uh, Tanya has a 10-foot HDM cord for a laptop to the TV. If you have a Amazon Prime, you can go to the YouTube via Fox, Firefox. It's Firefox, not Foxfire. Firefox? Firefox. The Firefox browser will get to it. There's a lot of different ways to get that to the TV now. Okay, I think we're getting close to done, but I want to dry it and do a few little outlines with it. But I think we're kind of close to getting it done. Um, All right, if you haven't entered as of yet, please do so. She's wrapping it up. Again, we're going to be drawing for this painting first, and then a giveaway for a two, one to two credit downloadable. Compliments of Kathy E. Thank you very much. And some tub of towel samples because we love our tub of towels. Yeah, we do. When will we be on live again, boss? Um, next Monday for sure, right? Next Monday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh -huh. Same bat station. But look bat for the channel. Ginger's Gems during the week. Look for the gems or anything and else we may slip up there. The, and you never know. We could just surprise you and come up. This is why we always say subscribe to the, you know. You want to subscribe and make sure your little alarm bell is turned on. I even got a 30-minute warning that you were coming on live shortly, in 30 Did you? minutes. Did you? Yep. Really? That's amazing. You really got that, huh? I did. Wow. I'm impressed. All right, let me just dry this real quick. Is this more a Picasso style or a ginger style? This is Picasso, more a Picasso style kind of thing. This is more it's of a kind of Picasso style. style. No, this isn't necessarily my style, but I think it's very fun, don't you think so? Is it's it, in is along it, with the abstract cubism. Cubie? Yeah, it's along with the abstract theme here, like that. Yes and yes. All right, so let's try it, and then I'll do a few little outlines, and we'll call it done.
Let me put my earmuffs on so I can make sure my sound doesn't go I crazy. wanted to oh. have it to, see, did you see this one right here? I wanted it to have a feel of this. Oh, you did a baby one. Kind of, on. Well, it's not the same thing. It's totally well, different. No. But it's the feel of that, right? Right. Same. So if you, you know, then again, same that's concept. on YouTube. Same, same concept. Same concept. Boy, nothing like starting up that thing right before I even squash her. Um, oh, some people get the 30 minute notice. Uh, we're not sure on the Sunday afternoon anymore. We're looking at our schedule now. For sure, though, we're going to maintain the Monday schedule. Uh, we do like to be out and talk to you guys, but we have so much filming we need to get done and want to do, and it's a lot more gems and things like that. So, Monday night for sure, 7.30 p.m. Central, just like you got here tonight. Uh, make sure you subscribe and set the alarm little, little bell so it has little quotes around it, the cartoon quotes, and you'll get notified. Other people have been getting a 30 minute notice too. It's the first time I noticed it. Ooh, she's quiet. Did I turn her off? Boy, when I muted her, I really muted her this time. No, yeah, just figured I'd do do this. Okay. Uh, welcome Jackie Thomas to the gang. She has her own account on YouTube now joining us. Uh, she didn't have one before, huh? No, she was. I guess she was overlooking arts, looking over him. Oh, Jackie's got her own thing. All right, Jackie. Good for you. I just, we we're roping her into this painting whole concept. She came. She came with art on the cruise. She was <laughs> very I don't paint, but I'm going to watch. Now, now, now we think that she can. Uh, She's got the bug. Even after we sent art back to the drawing board so many times. Yeah. You got to admit that came out gorgeous. I think I want a different color. Let's do a purple pen. I think it's fun to. I have all these colored pens. I feel like I should use them. Don't you think so? Yeah. And uh, just sort of have fun with this, right? That's it. You know, this one's one I had. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? It's a very pretty uh, color. Well, you know, 99% of the time I just use the white ones. Okay, but it was fun to have a set of the color just because for just for reasons like this, right? So um, that's all. So it was fun to just like look at that. That's cool, right? Ooh, I love the purple kind of next to the red and the yellow. All right. That's fun. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Here. And let's do what if we did this? Ooh, that's neat too. Ooh, All nice. right, last call for entry, says so she's ooing and awing over there. <laughs> All right, what can we do to just kind of, just, oh, look at how bright I, that is, right? We'll never be done with this one. I'm done with that. All right, I'm going to just sign it right here. Okay. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and last call for entries, and let's see what you guys do with this. Um, let's do a little of that color surprise on it. What which is always it? fun. Oh, We're going to use that crazy luminous yellow, which is really orange. I don't know. I think luminous yellow, that's not really luminous yellow. but let's That looks like fluorescent orange to me. That was fun, right? I don't know if you no, can see it. I didn't want to see where you put it. So I'm not even seeing it. So let's put it right here. You can't see it? Uh uh. Huh. Where's my monitor? Can you hold it up for me? Let's see if I can see it from the distance, just out of curiosity. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Okay, put it back down. Uh uh. It's not coming through there. So it doesn't show. It's so luminous that the camera doesn't pick it up? But apparently not. not. Not as orange as it is there. In real life, everybody who gets this, you're going to see what we're talking about. Yeah, it's, it's, it's way very, cool, isn't it? It is uh, very bright. Yeah, it's bright. This is where you can't beat a, 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 a brush sometimes. There we go. All right, I'm uh, stopping. I think that's what, that's what we're going to call that done. Um, done. So all your paintings are called done. Don't you get them confused when you do that? It's done number one. <laughs> it's done number two. Done number three. 
uh, ode to number one, ode to done number 14, <laughs> right? Don't you think so? I'm thinking so. Yeah, so this would be fun with some string gel, but we'll we'll refrain. Thank but you. I could I could see string gel on this. I'm telling you what, right now. I figured you could. Yeah, for sure, right? I mean, that's just me, but you know. The whole gang. Yeah, I could definitely see string gel on this one. All right, well, kind of a happy. I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day, and um, uh, and look for our gems. And really, here's the thing. YouTube will help other people see the gems if you put them in playlists and share them, like on Facebook and stuff. You do us a huge favor when you do that. And so we'd appreciate that very much. If, you know, if that's something you feel like you could do and you feel like you would feel like that would be helpful, we know it will be helpful, right? And if you want to know why I put the red slash through my name, I think we have another video somewhere on that. But here's the red slash. Through the name. And what is that funny yellow again? Put that under there so people in a couple yeah, people Yeah, this because exactly. it's really fluorescent orange. It's called luminous yellow by Holbein, but it's fluorescent orange. That's um that's safety orange that they, yeah, they wear on deer hunting. Like yeah. if you were if you were painting some deer hunters in the forest and you put that on, boy, I'm telling you what, right? That is definitely that, right? Definitely that. So, All right, here we go. Two hundred and thirty two. Oh, uh, who am I talking to today? Oh, Echo. Echo. Pick a number between 1 and 232. Your random number between 1 and 232 is 17. Holy moly. 17. Well, wow, some early bird got the worm on this case, didn't they? Big time. Huh? Big, big time, right? And I know who it is. Who? You know, when I say I'm trying to remember the order. If I say it... They hear it later, and then I type it. It's Marsha Markle. Now I think I can type it. Marsha. Marshall? Marshall? M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L? No, no Markle. Markle? M-A-R-K-L-E. Markle. I don't know a Marsha Markle. Do you know a Marsha Markle? Yeah, the name looks familiar to me. Well, when I, I know the other one, but it's, it, you sure? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at it. Marsha Markle. Well, okay, then. And I asked today, who is your favorite um, 1800 painter, artist? Which will be fun to go through to see who we want to do an ODG from. Yeah, well, I'll what tell you what. I'm, we really like that one guy with the cute, funny hat, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. I still want that. I still want you to do the, uh, the, the, the his portrait. portrait. Yeah, whatever that guy's name is. I, I like him so well, I remember his name, but I like him the best. How's that? You know what <laughs> Okay, everybody got that. Okay, so Marsha, if you're out there, go to our contact us. If you've gone, we'll email you. Now, I'm going to just put these next to each other so you can kind of see them, see? Okay, so again, if you let's did, tell if the you camera did, guy back up. If now, you usually did, they have somebody in the sound in the, in the control room. All right, back see, if you, didn't, if you didn't win this. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad because you can. this is a YouTube lesson. You could just go paint it yourself, right? But you can kind of see um, You know, I kind of played with that a little bit and did some abstract uh, roses. And again, it's the, these abstract roses are slightly different than than I'm going to write than this one, right? But again, it's the idea. And then if you want something, we've got some roses that are you know very realistic on YouTube as well as on our academy. We've got a lot of roses that are just you know really realistic. But we thought we would just sort of expand our bit. So are we giving away what's our what's our next giveaway here? And we'll oh, we're going to do the uh, downloadable lesson. Downloadable lesson. Um, Kathy E yeah, donated yeah, yeah, yeah. a. Two credit, one to two credit. How, and how much is that worth, John? Uh, it's over fifty dollars. Over fifty dollars. The two credits are over fifty dollars. Okay, so over fifty, over fifty dollars, over fifty dollars, you guys. So you have to go to gingercookondemand.com and then pick out the lesson, and then write us and say this is the one I want. We send you the code there so you that go. you can own it for free. And the nice thing about downloadable lessons is you, once you download them, you don't need the internet anymore. So if you're traveling, it's fun to have some of those. And it's good. We have a lot of friends in Australia whose the internet they're living out in the outback or way out or the way back machine. They have There's no internet connection. Not, not, not the internet connection they were hoping for. Um, in their younger days. In their, and so. Okay. Anyway. Are you, are you done spieling over there? Yeah. Okay. Echo. <laughs> Pick a number between 1 and 232. Your random number between 1 and 232 is 171. 
You're going from one end to the other. 171. Wow. She is really going nuts today. Julianne Steele. Julianne. All right. So email us and give us your that address. Does that sound familiar to you either? It what? Does to me. What's that? That name sounds familiar to me. I don't know. I I, I and talk to more Ginger people. wants to give one away in honor of her birthday. You guys ready for one more drawing? No, somebody's typing. All right, but I can say, right? <laughs> Did you call Ellie? Did you clear it with Ellie? Shh. Moving Ooh. on. Ooh. You doing it? All right. Ooh. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do another one. Right now. And yeah, we're gonna do another one. And what we're gonna do is an, another drawing. And it is for our Back to Basic series. Are you kidding me? No. And that's 24 the videos. The 24 videos, videos in a 12 hours. hours. of begin, you know, and so. Oh. And if you, um, you the know. The accounting going to go nuts. I know. We rarely do that. It's really one of our uh, most comprehensive, really learn the basics of painting, learn the blending, learn all the tricks you need to know to be able to do these more complicated lessons. There's a great series, and someone's going to win that. And um, now, if you are a person that we pick you and you've already won it, you can pick another thing, you anything can, you, in you the can, library. You can pick anything else in the library. How's that? Right. Because we have a lot of people who have purchased this. Kind of if you've already won library. it, you can no. pick something else in the library. All right, here we go. Echo. Pick a number between 1 and 232. Your random number between 1 and 232 is 37. 37. Wow, that's cool. Back and forth, back and forth. And also you can give it as a gift to somebody if you want to. Linda Harvey. Linda Harvey, congratulations. All right, so you can have the Back to Basics or anything else in our library, in the gingercookondemand.com. Uh, Go there first, pick it out, then use the Contact Us on our website to tell John which video you'd like to have. So we hope you've enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'm sure by now you're thinking, man, what have I been missing? I'd love to do it. We always love feedback for our shows. We appreciate all the comments you've done on the live show. If you'll come back over when this is uh, fully up, you know, it takes a while for the live shows to process, you know, come back and make a comment about how you like the show. Maybe you'd like us to see us do something different. Whatever you'd like, please let us know. We want to hear from you. Oh. And I want you to have a fabulous day. We're not done. We're not done? Did you give any tub of towels away? Well, the tub of towels are coming with these. Yeah, but some people want just some tub of towels. Let's give two batches of tub of towels out. All right, you guys. Jeez. Last thing. You know, that's, all I'm, that's all I've been authorized to give away. Tub, tub of towels. We're going to give away the sample packages of tub of towels. Uh, John, that just. are you sure? I think everybody's probably left by now. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody wants to know what kind of varnish brush we use, that the Sherpa uses, that I use. Oh, yeah, this is the... Make sure um, no paint gets in that. Yeah, this is our varnish brush. Uh, it's one of the Art brush. Sherpa brushes. If you guys don't know it, my daughter has a fabulous line of art brushes. They're part of the Silver Brush Company, which is all, the only brushes I use are silver brushes. And, um, and this is what they call a silver... A uh, varnish brush, ultimate varnish it's the brush. Ultimate, ultimate and varnish it really, brush. and I, honestly, uh, it, there, it leaves no marks. It's fabulous, and it cleans out really easily. We use those. And again, if you go to the brushguys. Uh, dot com, and then go to uh, j find find the ultimate varnish brush, and then use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word, you get a five percent discount. Which it's is when a, a brush like that, it makes also a difference. Also, low prices. Their prices are pretty low. Yeah, already. they have really good prices, and they have it all the time. They don't just do these crazy sales. And also, they care about the YouTube audience, which I haven't seen as much caring about the YouTube audience as from other companies. Let me put it that way. I feel like they really care about you, all of us. And I, I, you know, we talk about the people that care about us, right? We do. You know, and they care about you. We, you know, just. And we'll um, talk about each and every one of you. Yeah. Then they ca care about their... The, the, okay. There. Are you done caring? <laughs> <laughs> We're done caring. Go ahead. Would you care to share who's one? Echo. Pick a number between 1 and 232. Your random number between 1 and 232 is 217. You're just driving me nuts. 217? Who's that, John? That is... Susan Chick... Chickawick? I think it's Chickawick. Chickawick. Susan. All right. So what you need to do is just use the contact us 
and uh, give us your address, and we will put these in the mail to you. We'll drop them in the mail. We'll drop them in the mail. Let me just We're, wherever you live, we don't care. We just uh, the thing about I like these and the downloadable lessons and these small little paintings is we can pretty much send these anywhere in the world and pretty much afford the postage, right? Yeah. You know, we try to keep it where it's doable. Okay, and next one, last one, Echo. Yeah, I need a little yellow one here. Between one and two hundred and thirty-two. Your random number between one and two hundred thirty-two is seventy-nine. 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 It is Gail. I can't say the last name. Spell it. G O oh, C I E S I E E L S K I. I know it's Polish because I'm Polish, but that's all I know. Okay, Gail, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're as good as I am. C E Zaliski. I bet something like Zaliski. All right, as you can see, I'm just taking my tub of towels and cleaning my fingers and getting the last of the paint off my hands. Also okay, so if you guys are a winner, if you go to the contact us, give us your snail mail address. We cannot email Tubble Towels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now can we say good night? Uh, is there any more questions somebody has? Is there another question? I don't think so. I think we're good, right? They're no, saying we only have 327, so people are dropping off. I told you they would be. Probably <laughs> just snoozing at, at this point. Of, I mean, people are hanging in for the silliness. I never won anything. I won a cup of coffee at Tom Hortons the other day. I nearly fainted. See? See? You can win. Yeah, now's the time to get a lottery ticket. You're on a roll, Tom Hortons, <laughs> and you've graduated the tub of towels. God knows what you could win next, right? <laughs> Go buy that lottery ticket. And listen, you know, we're good friends. You, you win the multi-millions, you know, we're... We're we're fun we're, we're fun traveling friends, right? Yeah. We're, we're <laughs> Let us know. Yeah, we'll just come. ask our, 40, our our new forty friends we've got. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've had the Amazon our Amazon link up there for the whole time, so you can uh, yeah use that at your leisure anytime you go to Amazon and wish to shop. Think of yeah. If you go to our link first, and this is you know I hate to ask you this because it sounds so tacky, but I'm going to do it anyway, right? <laughs> if you go to our link first, even if you don't buy anything, go there first, then shop. And it's nice. It, it, they're actually that actually benefits us. If you go, if they don't buy any of, uh, if they don't they have to buy. If they have to go to our site first, uh, our Amazon store. Yeah, and, and then, then they, they can, can go shop they, anywhere, shop on, Amazon, anywhere on, Amazon, on Amazon, buy a TV, and whatever. And we appreciate it. And we appreciate and it. And we would appreciate you buying the big sixty-five inch color television yeah. screen. Yeah, you know, we'd probably get a whole five cents or something. But you know, millions of people that adds up, right? It does. So thank you. All right. I think that's it. Bye. It's just like that. Bye. So long. Thanks for all the fish. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We, you know, the first thing we have to do is we've got to. Um, He's talking to off. himself again. We got to put the thumbnail back up there like that. There oh, and go. incidentally, that's not me singing. That's Judy Guitar, and she wrote that song. She wrote that song, and we love and it. And she sings, sings it, too. And also, she's been responsible for our Pinterest board being so organized, and, and you're finding your resources. So let's give a big shout-out to Judy. She's one of the moderators on our Facebook club. If you haven't joined our Facebook club yet, it's free. Want to meet some fabulous artists and have a good time, come hang out with us. Bye. Are you done? <laughs> Sammy, Judy, I've got you in the wings, guys. Bye. Queuing them up. Here they go. <laughs> I'm a student. All right, we're going to mute you. Say the with microphone's going to be muted. <laughs> of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn. Coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.